make old computers usable again. Here is a series where I will be giving tips and tricks on how to make an old computer usable in 2024. Have you got an old PC or laptop that feels sluggish, or you feel like it is unable to keep up with the times? Look no further than here, because in this video, I will be giving some tips and tricks on how you can easily improve your old computer's performance, and the best part is, you will save lots of money in the long run. Firstly, when we are talking about old computers, we need to be mindful of the exact specifications of the PC or laptop, and bear in mind there are several ways to make an old computer more usable, you can upgrade the hard drive to an SSD to boost performance, potentially upgrade or install more memory, and additional components such as a graphics card, may also be upgradable. Do keep in mind however that upgrading a graphics card on an older system is generally not advisable, as you will run into micro stutters, latency, and other issues, as these powerful graphics cards are not designed for old, low power devices, so even if you buy a Dell Optiplex or a workstation, don't expect it to be capable of playing the latest and greatest games. You could also try a lightweight operating system such as Linux. There are several lightweight distributions that breathe new life into older hardware, such distros include Linux Lite, Peppermint OS, Zorin OS Lite, Xubuntu, and Lubuntu, but there are plenty of other options as well. It's also important to consider your usage and habits, if you're a gamer and you want to play the latest titles, then your old PC is not going to cut the mustard, obviously, but if you're a light user who just does basic stuff, and some light gaming, or you don't need the fanciest hardware out there, then I can assure you that your old PC or laptop is fine, and you should not throw it away. So, what exactly makes an old computer more usable? If you have an old PC or laptop, chances are, it has a very old CPU, older generation of RAM, potentially, a very underpowered graphics card, or simply just integrated graphics and it likely uses a traditional hard drive instead of an SSD, so with all things considered, let's see how we could greatly improve upon this. If your PC or laptop has less than 8GB of RAM, you should definitely consider upgrading the RAM, or at the very least, use an operating system designed to run on less powerful hardware, and as many of you know, Windows 11 has very high and rather arbitrary minimum hardware requirements, thus forcing you to purchase newer hardware, which guess what, is going to cost thousands upon thousands of dollars, so why the heck would you spend thousands of dollars just to have the luxury of using Windows 11, Windows 10 is still supported till late 2025, but Windows 10 runs horribly on older hardware, if you run Windows 10 with 4GB of RAM and a hard drive, you will know just how unusable it really is, and my PC, which is 13 years old, struggles to run Windows 10, yet it has so much RAM and CPU power that I was completely mind boggled by this, so when that's the case, it's not the hardware that's the issue, it's the operating system, but let's say that it is the hardware that's causing your PC or laptop to be slow, well, now you need to identify which piece of hardware it is that needs upgrading. Also. Bear in mind that some upgrades are more worthwhile than others, for instance, upgrading a hard drive to an SSD is more worthwhile than upgrading your computer's RAM, and it truly is, while RAM upgrades can give you more headroom to run more applications, they generally require careful research and planning, and depending on your specific system and the type of memory used, it may not be possible to upgrade it beyond a certain point. For example, my computer can only have up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, as that is the maximum that the architecture allows, it could also have 8 gigabytes of RAM, but you now see that upgrading the RAM is not at all possible, and your machine could be in a similar predicament, another component often not worth upgrading, unless you absolutely must, is the graphics card. Older computers don't have as powerful power supplies for these newer and more power-hungry cards, and they are designed for newer computers, 
so fitting a new GPU with a really old PC will likely cause issues. Not least, you won't have anywhere near as good performance for the latest games as you would on a custom PC designed for gaming, and while a GPU upgrade could theoretically future-proof your system, it's really not worth bothering with, especially if your current graphics is more than enough to do what you need, so unless you absolutely need to upgrade your graphics card, I would suggest that you perhaps buy a custom PC instead, because with many modern games requiring modern hardware, it's safe to assume that many of those modern games will not work at all on your existing system, and if they do work, they will likely have micro stutters, and other problems, so with all things considered, you don't want to waste your time upgrading the RAM or GPU unless you see it benefiting your computer in any significant way, and if you want to install a powerful GPU, you may have to case swap your PC, case swapping is when you remove all of the PC's components and fit them into a custom case, however. Proprietary manufacturers such as Dell and HP, make it almost impossible to case swap the existing hardware into other cases, and as this is only possible to accomplish with desktop computers, laptops are completely out of the question for case swapping, and as far as upgrades go, you're extremely limited on a laptop, about the best you could do is swap the hard drive for an SSD, upgrade the RAM if it does not have enough already, and perhaps install a lightweight operating system, such as Linux Lite. Also, bear in mind that all of these hardware upgrades are going to cost some money, especially if you're buying a new GPU or SSD, be prepared to spend a few thousand dollars just to improve your PC and make it more usable. GPUs can cost anywhere between $100 to $1,000, if not, more, SSDs are still more expensive than traditional hard drives, so the higher the capacity, the more you should expect to pay, RAM can be a challenging upgrade as you need to find out the exact memory that your system uses, and whether or not it uses a special type of memory known as ECC memory, which is actually the type of memory my desktop has in it, and so if your PC must use this type of RAM, you cannot use non-ECC type memory, as it could cause all sorts of problems, so if you plan on upgrading the RAM, do some research beforehand, and double check everything before you make a purchase, computer upgrades require careful thought and planning, and you should never upgrade or buy a new thing for your PC unless you know why you need it, and what benefit it is going to serve to you. In the next part of this series, I will be showing you some great operating systems you can try out that can really kick some new life into that old PC or laptop of yours. We will be looking at Chrome OS Flex, and a couple of lightweight Linux distributions. Do note that I will not be demonstrating this on real hardware, as I do not currently have any spare computer that I can do this on, although I do have plans to buy an old laptop that can serve as an experimental device for videos like this, but in the meantime, I will try my best to show you some great ways you can revive an older system, hopefully, without spending too much money. Anyway, that will do it for this video folks. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.